All right, guys, welcome back to the Brad and Kyle channel, and today we're going to teach you guys how to put your hand in the ball, and the best tip we can give you to do that, stay tuned. So, Brad, when, when we talk about putting our hand in the ball, I think we should mention that it's a very personalized thing. Now, there's a lot of different teachings out there on how to put your hand in the ball, but they don't necessarily work for everyone. For instance, one teaching out there is that you can, when you put your hand on the ball, you should put the grip pressure on the back of your thumb, pushing the back of your thumb against your thumb hole. And we have both tried that, and it feels terrible mm -hmm. to us. You know, we don't do that. Most of our grip pressure is either at the top here or on the other side of our thumb. And that's just an example, you know, that two bowlers that have achieved success in this sport, we go against the grain on that teaching. Another teaching is that you shouldn't dig and digging's bad, you know, that's something that people hear, you know, pro shop guys say, oh, you shouldn't dig. Well, I'm not saying you should or you shouldn't, but me and Brad dig a lot, especially when we're trying to hit the ball. And dig meaning when you put your fingers in the right. ball, you put them farther in, down farther yeah, toward the knuckle. basically past that and first supposedly crease. supposedly that's a bad thing. When we, <laughs> when we get to the point where we're digging, we're pumped, you know, yeah. we're like, heck yeah, we're getting after this thing. So the, so the point there is, is that it's personalized, you know, just examples with us, we go against the grain on some common teachings, but I think we can find a common ground on what most bowlers should do when putting their hand in. So Brad, what is something that, you know, we can teach most people? I think something to think about when you're putting your hand in the ball and you're standing there in your stance is you don't want any tension in your wrist and pretty much up through your arm as well. You kind of want that to be relaxed. If this gets tense, then it kind of, you bring some muscle into the ball. Right, and we don't you want muscle. kind of redirect it in its swing and you start controlling it and then your release is probably a little bit harder and it all just kind of starts this like right. catastrophic thing. So we really want the tension in the wrist uh, to be very relaxed. Um, and so I'll kind of tell you a couple things how I do that. Um, I always hold the weight of the ball in this hand when I go to put my hand in the ball. Uh, I, like, I like doing that. You put your fingers into your liking, deep down, not in at all, you know, whatever you want. Put your thumb in, and then when you go to stance, you know, I've seen a lot of people do it. People get made fun of for it. Get a little shake of the yeah, elbow. Yeah, I mean, we all do that. <laughs> yeah, it's important, it, it, it's important to keep this whole, the hand, the forearm, the elbow, shoulder, mm -hmm. just loose. Any tension in any of these areas starts causing muscle, and we don't want a muscle to swing. Yeah, and when I'm standing in my stance, I'm still holding the weight of the ball in this hand. Okay, that's important least, to know. Yeah. Or at least majority of it. That way you, your thumb... In the left hand. In, in the left hand, yes. yeah. Uh, when, you, when I'm standing there, there's still a good portion of the weight of the ball in this hand. That yeah. way you can still kind of keep a relaxed thing. Another thing that may not be for everybody, but if you go a little bit shorter on your span that that it's leaves relax you that a little bit relaxed grip if you get stretched with the span just to stretch your hand out you have to use muscle here yeah uh, so a little bit more relaxed grip can be something you could potentially go to but the overall goal is to try and conquer that relaxed feel yeah if we are if we're tense at the setup here guys mm. it's going to be really hard to relax that swing it's hard to go from a tense position to untense we might as well just start in a very relaxed position so brad why don't we try a Let's shot here so just walk okay, us through so. your setup here and how you would go through <clears throat> so, so I grab the ball off the rack yep hold it in my left hand Kind of point the fingers toward it, put the fingers in, throw the thumb in, put it up, give it a little shake. Weight of the ball in the left hand. Yep, so let's see it. And then we're just going to give it a shot. Over under seven. Taking the under. Ah! Ah, you got lucky. All day. Okay, so there you go, guys. Make sure, you know, there, there's no right way to put your hand on the ball. It's very personalized. but. Try to keep it as relaxed as possible. That's gonna help you keep a relaxed swing and make consistent shots. All right guys, thanks for watching the video and we wanna send you guys a free gift. All you have to do is click the link in the description or the comments for more details on how to get the free gift. And make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and make sure you follow us on Instagram, Brad and Kyle. Thank you guys.